What does $7.3 trillion buy? President Joe Biden is sitting pretty high in the world. He's having a great time as president. He's going to get the budget that he wants to spend and spend and spend. What's great about Joe Biden's career is that he takes your money, spends it, and then tells you that what he did was very compassionate. It's really amazing how Joe Biden can pat himself on the back for spending other people's money. Bear in mind that this is a guy who, when he's being interviewed by the Department of Justice for possible treason in retaining classified documents as vice president, he makes engine noises. At times during the interview, according to the transcript, the president made noises like a car. By the way, you know how it works? Biden asked her. It's really cool. Her remark, Sir, I'd love, I would love, love to hear much more about this, but I do have a few more questions to get through. You step your foot on the accelerator all the way down until it gets about six, seven grand, Biden continued. Then all of a sudden, it will say launch. All you do is take your foot off the brake. The transcript then indicates makes car sound as well. Laughter. This isn't Biden from private life. This is President Biden from last year, 2023, going vroom, vroom, vroom. Obviously, this is the man who is not writing the $7.3 trillion budget. Our country has been ruled for the past three years by a thousand Democratic Party lawyers at the White House. Biden is just a figurehead. So we know that this man, while he's making engine noises and pretending that he has any relevance in the world, he's not really in charge. Can you even conceive of how $7.3 trillion is assembled in the nation's budget, and you're told that every cent of that is critical spending? When Donald Trump was president, he said you can't imagine how much waste there is in federal government spending. And he said only a tiny fraction of that waste crossed his desk in the Oval Office. Most of it goes unnoticed. I wanted to show you a very, very tiny example of this waste. A company named Sweet Baby contracts with major video game makers to insert DEI content into major and small independent online streaming video games. So you can have Batman Knights here, or Assassin's Creed Valhalla, or my personal favorite, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. These games already had a script, but what Sweet Baby does is they enforce diversity, equity, and inclusion in the script. So many gamers were upset by this. They said that this company probably was the reason these games suck so bad and had terrible storylines, because you had the government or government-approved guidelines being inserted into the writing of these games. Why? Because powerful groups want to control the culture and to program your children to be good little Democrats. Just like at Disney, when they make a movie like Strange World, it doesn't matter if it loses money. It doesn't matter if parents, through whisper networks, warn other parents not to take their children to a movie like Strange World, and it bombs. All that mattered was that Disney received the check mark of approval from the federal government, and they were financially rewarded in some unknown way by the Biden administration and the massive federal bureaucracy that backs the Biden administration. I was watching a video here by Yellow Flash, and he explained that there is an even more insidious Have we got aspect to, go over to today? this tiny little company well, called here. Sweet Baby. This is Apparently, funny to me. Homeland Security, have a lot of the Department of Homeland Security, is involved to with funding these really operations. That sweet what does this terrain? have to fact, do seems like with Homeland Security? Let's go now. take a look. So here's the tweet by a group which is called TakeThis.org. What does TakeThis.org do? Well, they combat extremism in video games. Here's an article from Dr. El Elizabeth Kilmer, and they talk about how they are partnering in re to research the ways in which extremists exploit digital game spaces. 
They aim to better understand the vulnerabilities of and threats to gaming communities and provide education and resources to the games industry and government stakeholders to better address this growing threat. Uh, as far as I can tell, this organization's job is to make sure that no one makes a video game calling Donald Trump a hero. Uh, I don't really know why they think that's a grave threat, but you have to remember how socialists think. They model all of their activities on ideology, specifically on the lesson plan of Chairman Mao of Communist China. All culture must serve the state. If the culture is not serving the state in some way, then it is deemed a dangerous threat. Look at what they say here. Look at the, the terminology they use. Even these social media platforms, no stranger to the need for effective content moderation and safety tools, can struggle to effectively combat extremist speech. What is extremist speech? Well, it's something that communists use all over the world. Nicaragua, Venezuela, Cuba, Zimbabwe, and communist China. It means any speech that threatens the power of the state. And they, in fact, get into specifics. Extremist content, especially far-right, white supremacist content, has become an increasing problem in online and multiplayer game spaces. Did you know this was a problem? She wrote this just a year ago, in 2023. Where did this money for the, this group's work, TakeThis.org, come from? This work is made possible by a grant from the Department of Homeland Security. You might wonder, why is it the job of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security to police video games when we have an open border in our country? The Department of Homeland Security's job is not to secure the border. Their job is to make sure you don't think dangerous thoughts that threaten the power of the Biden administration and the Democratic Party, along with the massive bureaucracy which feels entitled to your tax dollars. So when you see a group like this getting grants from the Department of Homeland Security, it suddenly becomes clear where they came up with a $7.3 trillion budget. They have to pay for things like this, and they don't pay for a cent. Joe Biden is so compassionate, he's so giving, he's so charitable, he's never paid for a cent of any of these crazy programs that he's pushed in over 50 years. You pay for this. If the Department of Homeland Security has enough cash, where they're just overflowing with funds to fund a tiny little company like this, whose job it is to control video game content, ask yourself, why? Why is the federal government involved in controlling the culture of video games? Because that's how they can get access to children and to young people. Because when they can control the next generation, the next generation will support big government in their lives and will be grateful that the Biden administration and future Democrat administrations will take care of their every need. Controlling the culture is the number one goal of international communism. All they do is change the names and come up with new ways to describe it. What the Biden administration did was insidious. They are using your own money, taxpayer dollars, to indoctrinate your children and to make sure they are good servants of the Democratic Party. And then if you object to them spent taking your money to further radical leftist goals, they call you a racist. Or, as this article says, they call you a white supremacist. The new definition of being a far-right white supremacist is that you actually want to keep your tax dollars or have them spent on something that makes sense, such as controlling the border. Joe Biden won't control the border. That's not what his job is. His job is to spend your money in a wiser manner than you could ever possibly do. So the next time you look at Joe Biden and how proud he is of a $7.3 trillion budget, just remember... You are racist if you don't agree to every cent of that being spent on things you do not understand, you do not approve of, and you definitely don't want your children exposed to. Thank you.